My name is Armando Alfredo Chitica Olguín, and I'm from Mexico. And I'm studying water management with the specialization in water conflict management. Well, academically, it's the first models were not so easy. The, as a lawyer, I have a, a hard time with the mathematics, hydrogeology, and hydrology. So, and, and socially, that helps us because our peers from other parts of the world help us to understand and remember the math and algebra and the basic calculations. And then we help them to the, with the other models that were more of analyzing the data and more about re writing stuff and essays. Well, the, the city is great. Uh, I love Delft. The city is beautiful. Mm, the institute by itself, it's, it's not a huge campus, but has a, a perfect uh, environment to study and make friends and learn a lot professionally and academically. Well, the water management group, we went to first Spain and then Portugal. In Spain, we were able to interview people from the government and from NGOs. And well, first uh, Spain, um, it's the main country in Europe with greenhouses. So that's where they supply all the food in, in Europe in the winter because they have very good climate. But because of all the production they have, there's a lot of water scarcity in the groundwater. So we came to, to help and analyze the situation and to give recommendations to the government on how to act to help the over-exploitation of the aquifers. And then we did, we did the same thing in Portugal because they shared a, a river basin. So as a water conflict management, it's very interesting to see the, the situation they have between both countries, how they manage the water resources between both countries perfectly. Well, first of all, we applied what we learned in class, but also between our peers, we, we get to know each other better and yeah, to, to create a, a synergy in the group that is very positive for our relations professionally. My favorite class, well, I have two favorite classes. One was water conflict management with the professor Saki Schubert, mm -hmm. and the other one was water law and environmental law with Frank Jaspers and Jojita Gupta, uh, which is not a coincidence because with Saki Chubert, she's the coordinator of my specialization. And Water Law, it, it's my mentor and my supervisor for the thesis. My research will be in Mexico, first Mexico City, and then in Chihuahua State as the case study. And the topic is about the water property in Latin America. We'll focus on the 18 countries in Latin America to see how the water property is in the law, in the constitution of each of the countries that speak Spanish. That's where the focus will be on. And then we'll focus on the case in Mexico to see how is the, the relation between the existing laws and how is they they're applied in the, in the ground, like in, in the field. It's, it's studying in IHE Delft. It's both um, very helpful for, for the future and for the experiences you have before coming but also will give you the tools to, to be a better student and, and to learn more about the water, which is the main topic in the Institute. The social evenings in, in IHE Delft, it's, it's great because you get to meet people from all the continents here in a more relaxed manner. You get to, to taste different kind of dishes from the Netherlands. Well, the student housing duo, in, in this case, um, ha has in, in Papenstraat a really nearby uh, apartments. That's where we live. It's six minutes from here. Uh, wh when you are very in a hurry, six minutes you can do walking. Normally you can do eight. Depends on how early you wake up to classes. And well, after classes in my free time, I like to run. I, I am in the running group here in in Nigeria. Time passes really quickly here. Uh, I cannot believe that with the juniors here. One month ago I was still junior, and now I cannot believe that I'm always I'm. A senior now and all this last year went very fast so what I recommend to the future students is to study hard because time flies by. Well, it's, it's beautiful to see how in real life the politics in both countries can have conflicts and here in IHE Delft you grow friendships between those countries so it's, it's incredible to see people yeah I don't want to mention maybe the, the countries but here the, yeah it, 
you cross that barrier of of the friendship that maybe governments can learn from.